Hi, hello, welcome to my new channel. This is my first video ever on alternative vegan. My name is Amanda. I have my own main YouTube channel called Amanda Conover, which is my first and last name. So I'll have a link to that down below. And if you're here from that channel, hello, welcome. I decided that for my first video on this channel, I would explain why I went vegan or in other words, my vegan origin story, just because I feel like it's a good introduction to my vegan themed channel. With this channel, I'm planning to make different videos related to veganism from recipe videos to activism to vegan news, vegan drama, etc. So if you want to see any of that, subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up. All right, so let us get into the video. I said lettuce. That should definitely be something I say on this channel. So what is the why behind why I went vegan? <music> to sum up this entire video, it's animal rights. I went vegan for animal rights. It wasn't for environmental or health reasons whatsoever. I didn't even know those were benefits until after. So basically what happened was I was raised a meat and dairy eater, just like everyone pretty much is on these days in America. So I was raised eating meat and dairy and cheese and eggs and everything like that. But I've always been a huge animal lover and I never really liked the taste of meat. I only ate a couple kinds of meat because I just genuinely hated it and people would always try to make me eat it for protein or whatever. So anyway, one day when I was 16, I was watching some YouTube videos because I was obsessed with YouTube back then. Nothing's changed. Anyway, I was watching some videos and I came across a video in my recommended. I'm pretty sure it was called the best speech you will ever hear. It might've been called the most important speech you will ever hear. I don't know. I think there's like different titles for it, but it was called one of those. Obviously I was like kind of intrigued to see what the most important or best speech ever was going to be. So I decided to watch this and it turned out to be Gary Yurofsky, who is a vegan activist. It was him giving a presentation at a college. It was about an hour, maybe 45 minutes long. And I, immediately got hooked right away. I watched the whole thing because I had never heard anything like this before. I had never considered up until this point why I was eating meat if I didn't like it because I was told that we needed to eat meat. I didn't know that you could really survive without eating meat. I remember hearing like in school that it was hard to be vegetarian because of protein. I had no idea that that was completely false and an industry lie. Watching that video kind of made me wake up and realize like, yeah, um, in order for me to eat this chicken nugget, like a chicken had to die, you know? Like, I think a lot of people are disconnected from that or they try to push it out of their mind or don't really think about it. But if you do think about it, it's pretty messed up. Like, yeah, in order for me to enjoy this food, an animal had to lose its life. So I think that's what made me realize that like, I can't contribute to that anymore. So I decided to go vegan overnight. I had never heard the term vegan before until that video. I'd only heard the term vegetarian. This was in like 2015. So I decided to go vegan overnight and it didn't work out because I had literally eaten meat and dairy my entire life but I stayed vegetarian. So the next morning, it was very difficult for me. I didn't know what to eat. I just literally ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then after that, I realized like, I can't eat anything else. So I went vegetarian. I think I ate meat one more time after that. But outside of that, I've never eaten meat since that day. And I knew from that day that I became vegetarian overnight that I wanted to become vegan eventually. I just didn't have enough knowledge. I didn't know anything about being vegan or what even was vegan. The first year I was vegetarian, I accidentally ate gelatin the entire year. Um, not like I was eating marshmallows every day and stuff, but whenever we would have a campfire, I just assumed, you know, there's no meat, so it must be vegetarian. That's not true. There's a lot of weird foods that technically aren't vegetarian. I just didn't know about that. I just assumed if it wasn't meat, like directly, if it wasn't like, chicken or ham or something, then it was vegetarian. Ricky mistake. So I've learned a lot from that and I stayed vegetarian for a couple years. The reason for this was because number one, it was really hard for me to give up dairy because my entire diet basically revolved around dairy. Like I said, I was a very picky eater. So I would only eat things like grilled cheese, mac and cheese and cheese quesadillas. So dairy was in all of the things I loved. So it was very hard for me to give up dairy. And I actually developed an eating disorder from it because I knew the ethical implications of dairy were terrible. It's one of the worst industries, but I was not allowed to be vegan when I was in recovery. So I had been on and off vegan and vegetarian for a little while, always trying to be vegan. I have conflicting thoughts about it because after I was like recovered, I waited a while and I kept eating animal products. And then after I knew I was recovered for good, I slowly transitioned back to veganism. I made sure not to do it overnight because eating disorders are so serious 
and scary. I think it's important to keep your own health and safety in mind when you're thinking about becoming vegan because in some situations, in some eating disorders or health conditions, it might not be the best option. Fast forward, after I was fully recovered, I slowly started cutting out dairy and eggs. Since the slow transition after I was recovered to remove animal products from my diet, I've been completely vegan and it feels amazing and I feel like I am morally aligned, if that makes sense, because I know that it's wrong to kill animals for my taste and now I'm actually doing something about it by not eating those things. So I guess that's kind of the whole story about how I became vegetarian slash vegan. It is a little bit complicated, so sorry about that. I don't know, I feel like I have a weird story, but I hope you enjoyed watching this. Let me know your vegan origin story or your vegetarian origin story down below if you have one, and I will see you next time. Peace out. And to go along with this channel, I also made a vegan Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. My vegan TikTok is Alternative Vegan. My vegan Instagram is Got Oat Milk. My vegan Twitter is Alternative Vegan, except it wouldn't let me use that many characters, so vegan doesn't have an A in it. Why in focus? Why do I look so saturated? I feel like I'm out of focus. No, I definitely am in focus. Maybe never do that to your camera, but you had to test it out. I have my own, okay. My name is a man, okay. I decided that for my first video, I would, okay. I decided that for my first video on this channel, I wanted to share the story of how I went vegan. Oh, wait, what's the title? Keywords, use keywords. <laughs> my Instagram is got oat melt. Wait.